My name is Terry. I'm with my partner Ash, mum Tracy, dad Tony, and nephew Jonathan. We are leaving our hometown of Middlesbrough for a new life in France. To restore this beautiful 18th century castle. From living in caravans during winter to tackling years of neglect, keeping her dry, discovering more about its past and bringing it back to its former glory. Not forgetting Louis, Sasha and Patrick. This is Chateau de La Lasalle. This week at the Chateau, we catch up with Tony, clearing the mess from one large hall and follow him creating another. Well, finally managed to get this place a little bit tidier. 
um, and just leave it like this for a while now. Uh, there is a little bit of work to finish off moving these beams around, uh, but the, the next uh, priority really is to get some windows in upstairs um, and, um, and to prepare the stairs themselves so that they're ready to, to put in. Um, so we'll leave this for now and, uh, and onto something else. The next stage on the cottage will be to make two new dormer windows replicating the ones on the chateau and the barn. So at the end of the first real day of work up here in the, uh, the cottage roof space, um, as you can see We've got the, the first of the openings uh, opened up for, for, for the dormer window. We've got the oak frame um, up and in place. And we've also got the supporting structure uh, pretty much in place as well. So a, a good progress for the first day. Um, next thing we need to do is, is make some supports for this purling. Um, and we're gonna, we're, we're basically gonna put a prop up off the top of the wall, which runs just along, along here, um, in that area. Uh, and then once that's properly secured, we'll be able to cut the section out of this, so that then we've got uh, some lovely views out of here. Um, exciting times. So the first of the dormer windows is, is uh, in, in the cottage roof now and uh, it's looking fantastic. While we've got the, uh, the scaffold up and some, some decent access, I'm going to give it a, a first coat of some uh, wood preserver. Um, it won't be the final coat, but while I've got easy access, um, I'll, I'll do what I can reach. Um, and then when the, when the whole job's finished, we'll, uh, we'll give everything a, a proper second coat. So this is the uh, this is a wood protection that I've I've chosen totally at random. Um, I looked for a, for a, a good good protection, um, and hopefully this this colour will be about right when I get it on. If not, we can always darken it off or or I give it a coat of something different. But at least it'll give us some initial protection. Um, so let's see let's see what it actually looks like in here. Mm. 
well, it's looking a little bit dark to be honest, but um, we'll give it a first coat and, and uh, fingers crossed it'll uh, it'll go on nice and thinly and and won't uh, won't make it too dark a finish. Um, the ones in the shadow and in the barn are are quite uh, are quite dark with age, so um, hopefully this will blend in okay. Well, it seems to be going on uh, nice and easy. Uh, obviously, although the wood's been treated, it's, uh, it's still quite thirsty, so the oak frame is, is soaking this in nicely, and um, hopefully we'll get plenty of protection from the weather and from the sun. Um, right, I'll just, uh, I'll just carry on with this, and, um, and uh, let's see how far we get. Right, well, it's a, a good hour's work finished. Uh, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's gone on really nice. Um, hopefully, we'll get, I've got a nice even coat on there and um, give it a, a little while and we'll be able to get a, a second coat on and get it built up. Um, I haven't done the inside yet. We can do that uh, when we decide what we're going to do inside with the rest of the decor. Um, but at least the outside's protected now and, uh, and we're. Uh, to move on to the next job. So now we've got the windows in place um, and treated. It's a, it's a good job starting to shape up. Um, and I just thought I'd take this shot, um, if I can manage it, just to show when you're looking out of the window just exactly what sort of views you have. So, no, no, as usual, cock that up. So we're getting on really well up here now. 
This is the uh, the start of the the second dormer window up here in the uh, the cottage roof space. Um, we've broken the uh, broken the opening away, and um, we've got the the oak frame up, and also a lot of the internal framing as well. Um, tomorrow we'll get the the uh, the support uh, put in place so we can cut away the purling, and. Um, by the end of the week, we'll, uh, we should be in a position where both dormers are, are, uh, are ready to, uh, to be tiled, which will be fantastic, a great progress. Um, it's fantastic to see life coming back into this, uh, into this building. Um, can't wait to start uh, getting some progress on the chateau as well, but needs must, and we need to be, uh, we need to be in here, so we've got uh, a, a base to work out of. Um, Everything's going really well at the moment, so fingers crossed it will keep on that way. Tony has done a fantastic job with the new Dharma windows, but he's also managed to fit in two new Velux windows on the opposite side. So the views from this this window are going to be just as spectacular as from the first dormer. Um, from here we can look across the the back of the chateau as well as as well as over uh, the chateau itself. Um, so slightly different from from the first dormer where we get a view right down the valley and all across the front of the chateau. Um, different difficult to say which is uh, which is better I think both have uh, both are stunning so impossible to uh, to pick a, a better of the two um, because this one's a little bit higher with the with, relative to the floor because the floor is lower in this end we might just have to build it up to make sure that uh, that we don't miss out on on the view that we can get So we're making fantastic progress here with the second dormer now. Um, frames all up, it's all felted and um, we've got nearly all of the battens up. Just need to pick up a few more pieces tomorrow. Um, and uh, it won't take long, hopefully, to, uh, to get, the, get the cladding on the front and to get the window frame in. Um, and the weather's been kind to us so it looks like we should get it finished this week and um, hopefully next week we'll be able to get on to replacing the guttering on this side of, uh, of the cottage and to repair the, uh, the slates on the roof as we go. So great progress, uh, really happy with the way things are going. It's absolutely fantastic to be, to be getting this work done and we're gonna feel a benefit of it uh, straight away. So it's Sunday on a bank holiday weekend. Um, obviously, 
the weather's decided it's going to be a little bit breezy and uh, and a little bit cloudy sun was out earlier but um, typical sort of bank holiday weekend weather um, there's footy on telly very tempted but really what I need to do is get a second coat of wood preserve on these uh, dormer frames so against my uh, better judgment here we go let's uh, let's crack on and, and get this done and then maybe I'll catch the late game Well this is going on really well again, um, the second coat is darkening off a little bit but it does seem to be uh, making it a nice even coating. I'm only putting thin coats on just uh, give it time to uh, to dry. Maybe after this one if I get a chance I might give it a little a little light sanding to get a good key for the uh, for the next coat but we'll see how that goes. Um, at the moment we'll just crack on and and get this uh, get this sorted out. While I'm up here, I'm just going to uh, swap the camera back around a little bit and just show you the state of the guttering. Um, uh, it's the next thing on the job job list. While we've got the scaffolding up, we're going to change the guttering on this side. Um, to do it, we need to uh, we need to take some of the tiles tiles away, um, and while we're doing that, we're going to replace the slipped ones and uh, and hopefully try and replace the ones that are being cracked without doing too much damage to the ones that are already there. Um, ideally, it would have been nice to put a new a whole new roof on, but the cost is uh, is just more than we can afford at the moment. So. So fingers crossed we'll, we'll be able to repair as we go. Um, it's not too bad, but uh, some of them are a little bit brittle. Anyway, I'll just uh, I'll turn the camera around and we'll have a look at the, the guttering and see why we need to change it. So I'll just try and pan you along this length of the guttering on the, the front of the cottage. As you can see, that end's uh, a little bit battered, not too bad, apart from there's a big hole in the corner. Uh, but as we, as we come along, you can see there's, there's holes more or less in every piece. Now the scuttering comes in in lengths of about a metre so in reality it's not really worth trying to uh, trying to pull it apart and trying to save some of the some of the small sections. You can see uh, see all the way along that it's it really is in quite poor condition and uh, and to be honest it's it's fared um, less well than anything else on on the cottage um, so it has to come off um, and as you can see desperately uh, desperately needs doing Well, we've had an absolutely fantastic couple of weeks. Um, progress up in the cottage roof has been tremendous. The windows are all in now and, and look fantastic. The light that they're letting in up there is superb and the views are just to die for. Um, there's probably two or three weeks still to finish off. I've got to get all of the, the slates on now and, and the new gutter in. Um, so that's going to keep me busy, certainly. Uh, with that and, and I need to do a little bit of work in the in the lobby to uh, to prepare for getting the stairs up because that's going to be the next job straight after the uh, the roof's finished. Um, there's plenty to keep busy outside as well. Um, might have to try and find a lawnmower because the grass is is shooting up all over now and um, and the good news for me is it looks like Tracy and Jonathan will be able to get over in the next uh, two or three weeks as well. So, so that's uh, something for me to look forward to as well. Really excited about that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Uh, and if you have, please remember to, to like, to share and, and to subscribe. The details should be on the screen now.